Hello YouTube, welcome to my first tutorial for Skinwalker Sports. Um, basically today all I'm going to show you is how to make a 3D logo, whether or not um, you're going to be using it for your channel, for your website, doesn't matter at all, um, in under five minutes. First we're going to go to blender.org. Um, it's a free download, just a, with uh, video software um, called Blender. And then after you have that done, go to defont.com, which is an open database of fonts on the web. And they have it all categorized, so it doesn't really matter where you select. Find one you really like. Um, click the download button, and the zip file will appear in the bottom left corner. Unzip it to your desktop, and then double click on that file, and save. You're gonna save. You're gonna save. You're gonna save that wherever you want to. Um, but now that we have that done, let's go ahead and focus on um, Blender itself. So um, go ahead and open up Blender and click out of this first box you're going to see, you can go ahead and close your web browser. Um, and one thing about Blender is you're going to need to use your um, right, mouse, right mouse button and your numpad. If you don't have either of those, you're going to go to the menu and you're going to go down to user preferences. Open this, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, this menu up. Go to input, then emulate three button mouse and emulate numpad. That will let you use your num keys as a numpad to change the view, which is what we're going to focus on in a second. So go ahead and close that. Go back to the um, save your user settings and go back to the info panel. Go ahead and delete this main cube in the middle. Right click on the lamp. Um, yeah, right click. Um, and then delete that as well. Don't delete this camera thing over here on the left because it's really important to be able to see how you're going to be able to see your object. Go ahead and go to add to text. Um, type whatever you want, hit tab to type whatever you want, and then hit tab again once you're done. I'm going to type Skinwalker for my channel. Uh, then type RX90 to rotate it. Uh, and then after you have that done, go ahead and hit 1 to change it to front view on your screen. That's your 1 on your numpad, unless you emulated it 1 on your num keys. Go to view, align view, align selected to view. Uh, now you're going to see it through the camera, and then if you ever get off, just hit 0 to go back to your camera view. And that's your camera view. Then you're going to go over to font on the right, CF, and then pick which font you want on your desktop. Go ahead and center that more or less in the middle. Um, you can change the size of it, and you can also make it 3D right there under extrude, and also depth on bevel, depth on bevel. They're just going to change the effect of the font, how it looks. If I want to make it really big, um, I can just like type in 10, it's way too big, or 0 0.1 would make it really small. I'm going to go with 2, but really it's whatever you want, it doesn't really matter. And then after you have that centered, you're going to go over to Materials, which is just to the right of Font, the little F. Um, then you're going to click New, and you're going to just change the color. Whatever color you want, doesn't really matter. I'm going to go with red, but that's the color of the your logo that you're going to be choosing. Next, go to the little world. Um, this, this is your background color, if you want it to be white. Change it to white if you want it to black, change it to black. Check all three of these boxes, ambient occlusion, environment lighting, and um, the other, the indirect lighting. Um, change your resolution to 100% on your render settings. Choose where you want to be saving this file to. Um, I'm saving it to my desktop, but that's just what I feel like doing, basically. And then after you have that done, um, make sure all your render settings are looking nice and good and like mine at this point. Go ahead up to render, render image, and that's what your image is going to look like. If it looks really nice and you really like it, then all you have to go down is image, save as image, uh, name your file, and choose where you want to save it to. Uh, and then I'm just going to name it YOLO. Um, and then save that file, and you're basically done. That's your file, that's your logo. Uh, thanks guys. Like, subscribe. Really appreciate it. Uh, this is my first tutorial, so comment as well. Skinwalker Sports, uh, peace out.